That's a male green crab, and this one here is the female. Green crab are an invasive species that are very destructive. They tear up real grass beds, uh, which are the juvenile habitats for most fish species. It's almost like a nursery. So, I mean, if you've got those guys coming in destroying the nursery, uh, I mean, what happens to all the baby species then? And not only do they, uh, do they tear up the eel grass, but they'll actually go after the other species. I've seen them destroy salmon. I've seen them go after lobsters. Uh, like, there's nothing they'll back down from. So my daughter was the one who found green crab. Um, she used to be down playing on the beaches all the time here in the Barrisway. And she came back, she goes, Mom, what's wrong with this crab? It looks funny. And when I looked at it, I was like, oh my God, that's green crab. And I knew that they were in Placentia Bay at the time, but that was like the, really the first time seeing them here in Garnish. Uh, so then we started contacting DFO. Uh, we got some green crab pots sent out to us. and. For the last seven or eight years now, we've been fishing green crab and trying to help combat the problem we've got here uh, with the green crab in Fortune Bay. And I've also been coming up with markets for green crab. So there's a lot of really good uh, nutrients. Uh, green crab actually can contain a lot of protein, calcium, omega-3, any fatty acids that are essential to humans. I mean, you pretty much find it in a green crab. I've got markets with it for human consumption. And I've also been making uh, dog treats out of it. So I've been utilizing it uh, to feed my, my dogs and my friends' dogs. <laughs> Yeah, I've been crushing them up and feeding them to my chickens and it's actually a great source of calcium so it helps with the, with the strengthening of the shells and it's a good protein source for them as well. Okay, so you, it sounds like you've got a lot, a lot of opportunity here to do things with green crab, but what, what, why aren't you doing it? Pretty much, I just haven't been able to get the go ahead by DFO and the government. I mean, that's the only thing holding me back. I mean, right now I'm in the process of trying to get permits to uh, send a small shipment to Asia of frozen green crab uh, just to actually get it into Asia, just so that we can start trying to work on getting the ship back and forth between there. Our government and DFO is just not proactive enough. They want people to fish them, but they don't seem to want anybody to be making money off of it for some unknown reason. And it's kind of sad because down in the States, they've actually got a pot to plate program on the go where they're actually getting it into restaurants and into people's homes for people to have. And uh, Nova Scotia has been using it as a bait source for lobsters. So you can buy a, a crate of green crab up there for $100. And then, like say, you got PEI who's working on doing a soft shell green crab because I mean, soft shell green crab are a delicacy. So I'm hoping by getting the processing license, this will be another level to help me push the government to give me and my husband the, the rights to be able to fish the green crab and to process the green crab here in Newfoundland.